Welcome. Today we're going to talk about Craft, specifically version 1.7, which added a much requested feature, tables. Before we do that, a few things I'm going to note. You can support the channel by becoming a member on YouTube. You can take one of my courses. I actually just launched one on getting started with Obsidian if you're interested in that, or you might be interested in my getting started with Zettelcasting course. They're linked both below, uh, and that one actually, my Zettelcasting one, goes with Craft. That's it. Let's dig in and look at the tables that Craft provides. All right, so tables, how do we do it? You can see I already have one set up, but to set up a table is actually really easy. As with anything in Craft, we can hit slash, do table, and then we can actually choose what size we want. So I have a five by five there originally, and you can see I did ideas, and I bolded it, and I did research, I bolded it, and I typed outline, I bolded it. The thing I did was, I did most of this on my iPad. If we can click this on the side, we can edit the table or we can style it as well. Like I say, bold them all, unbold. I can change the default font. I can do mono if I wanted. I can change how they're aligned. This is kind of how we have a header header if we wanted that. Uh, we can turn on alternating row color, make it gray. That works for me. That's kind of how I set up this table up above. All right, I set it up um, kind of like a Kanban workflow. That's one way you can do it. That's the way that seems most, that appeals most to me anyways, that I can really see. Um, and then I added pages in here. So if I wanted to do this and hit page, now I have a page. This is an idea. That's one thing we can do with it. Now, one thing you can't do, at least on iPad, and it doesn't look like you can do it here either, is to... Yeah, you can't drag and drop, but I can, how did I do it before? Cut and paste. And that works with, right, cut, paste. Yep, just with the command keys in uh, on your keyboard as well. It works really well with that. So this is one uh, interesting idea. I found the table is really easy to use. I think we can even go in here and add edit table. And then we can insert a column if we want. We can even say move the column left and you can see we shifted the column. I like that. So now let's take a look at, how do we delete it? Edit, edit table, delete column. And see there's keyboard commands for all this too. So I have not learned the keyboard commands yet, but that would be um, control or sorry, option command uh, left arrow. We'll move the column left, right? So option command left arrow swaps the column. That's nice. I like that too. And a shift command enter will insert a column, right? So shift command enter inserts a column. I like it. And then command Z just undid that. So I like that. Now let's take a look at how it works on our phones. As you can see here, I have it on my iPhone right now. It's actually something I worried about because I like how it would work, but you can see it. Um, it does scroll back and forth pretty well. I have found once or twice, if you go too far, this is in the selection mode now, and now I can do things with this, um, right? You can select, you can do that with kind of anything. So I can now multi-select, but I did find that um, felt a little too sensitive sometimes for me where I was swiping to towards the left and it just was a little too sensitive for me. Occasionally I was getting missed clicks, but overall it was okay. Uh, and we could come in here and this was the other part that was a little hard. So now that I have this, if I wanted to, now I can get in here and I can go actions and I can cut and I can come back over here and I've got to hit that little three dots on the one side, actions and paste. But selecting it when there's a page in there is hard. See, I still haven't got it again. Now I've got it again, right? And I can do that or I can select cells. So that's one way, and really you can do pretty much anything in here. I can do a uh, date if I wanted to, date and time, tomorrow. That works with their variables, which is nice. We can do, what else? Clear styling, clear style contents. We can adjust the color of it. Let's make it navy blue. That's text, right? This is blue. You can also see down here, we actually have a way to, from the iPhone, to insert rows, insert columns and everything, which is really nice. Uh, as well, and then we can have the three dots. Oh, that's actually interesting. So that's I missed that. So if I select a cell and then I hit the three dots in this menu bar right here, 
then it actually does the contents for me. So that'd be way easier. So you totally could do a cut, all right? I go like this, three dots, action, paste. It's not too bad at all if I was going to do something like a Kanban view. So I just deleted the table below. It actually updated pretty much instantly on the Mac version, on the Mac version as well. And the iPad works very similar to the Mac version. Uh, it worked really well. I, I really liked it. I have no complaints about the iPad version. Uh, it worked well. It worked well with the cursor, with your trackpad. Um, worked pretty worked uh, well with my finger as well. I, I found it a little easier to operate with my finger than I did the iPhone version. Overall, I think the craft update for tables is a really nice update. And as I look at it, I know I'm mostly on Obsidian, but this is far better than dealing with Markdown tables. Markdown tables are terrible. And this craft update is pretty nice. So if you're using craft, excellent update. I like it a lot. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Otherwise, you can support the channel by taking one of my courses. There are links to them all below. Uh, if you're interested in Obsidian, getting started with Zettelcast, and Tick Tick, time blocking, all that stuff below on Skillshare. Or you can join me on Discord. There's all links to this below. Have a good day. Try to behave yourselves.